Nope, nope, sorry. I gave it the office. Got it. Oh, it's him. What the? <laughs> Dude, you were dead. What do you even shoot at? I saw an eyeball. Happy Halloween, ghouls and goblins. Welcome back to the Halloween Crossroads channel, where it's all Halloween all the time. I am your host, the Scarecrow. Welcome back to our playthrough of Resident Evil. Okay, so this is part 13 of the uh, of the playthrough, and I believe, I don't know why I say believe, it's, it's the final part. I just have to beat the last guy, the stage 4 G monster with the... Uh, with the eyeballs and the now tentacles and stuff like that, it just keeps morphing. Uh, we're, we got to this area the last time with the train. You know, it's just like Leon's playthrough. Uh, you had to beat Super Tyrant in order to get out of here. I'll put a link up in the corner to his playthrough. And, uh, you know, if you missed any parts of... of Claire's playthrough, I'll put a link up there as well. But like I said, all we have left to do is get out of here and kill that piece of garbage. Of and supposedly, there is an, another ending to this sure, game. You? Uh, you know, they, they're calling it the true ending, which I haven't seen it yet. So, you know, supposedly once you beat, because this is like... Like I said before, this is a second run playthrough with Claire. And so I think if you do a second run playthrough with either of them, Claire or Leon, then you get, you know, supposedly you get that extra, extra bit of the ending, which we had hints of in Leon's playthrough. Really? Oh, damn it, I thought I switched that. Thank you. Goodbye. All done, Ski. One bullet does them in. I guess that's what happens when you're on fire. You're welcome! Sherry, you hanging in there? You're welcome! Yep, almost out of here. Ah, oh, crap! I gotta dump another one of these knives. Not that it matters. Worth a try. Not like I'm gonna be using a knife on that big ugly thing. Unless the monster kills her and comes after you in the train, then you better run. Because she ain't going to save you. She'd be dead. Then get in there. Yoink. Yeah, on that vein. I mean, Look, seriously, it said you, you had ten out. minutes until yeah. detonation. I know. I so, found a way out. wouldn't that mean that the place is gonna think, explode think or whatever at the end of that ten minutes, not slowly Claire, until you, you reach ten minutes? Claire, I mean, you're it, are you supposed to have ten minutes to get yeah. out, not ten minutes until they open. make sure everything's in there dead? Here. Everything that's in there is dead. You know, it's kind of ridiculous. The whole place is rocks and stuff are falling down and, and all kind of crap like that. And, oh, well, you know, we gave you ten minutes. Ten minutes to what? Run for my life? Oops. Oh, how nice of them to wait until she stepped out of the office before the flat platform started going down. <gasps> What's that? 
Yeah, see, that piece of shit. So we gotta take out Captain Eyeballs over here. Where are you? Oh, fuck. Yeah, you, you roar. You do the roar thing. Uh-oh. Agreed. Nope, sorry. I'm not, I don't need a back rub or anything like that. You stay over there. Oh, shit. Helps if you don't miss, though. Nope. Oh, shit, -ski. Take out the eyeballs. It's, it should be pretty easy, because that's all he is, is fucking eyeballs. You stay over there. Uh, yeah, what happened? Are you fucking King Kong? Damn it. Come on, run. Really? I said run, damn it. Oh boy. Ooh, I barely got away from that. Uh-oh. No, no. Stay over there. Okay, smash into those walls. Scrape, scrape! Come and get it! Oh, uh, damn it, you gonna climb the fucking wall again? You can't see me! Really? He just went like right through the train? Hey, I'm over here! Jeez, his eyeballs actually are regrowing. When in doubt, go for the eyeballs! Ah, uh. oh, Jesus, with the climbing the walls. That's getting real old, buddy. Uh oh. Peekaboo! Uh oh. Run, run, run! Jesus, finally the eyes are starting to turn red. Because if you've, if you've been, if you've been keeping along with I have to play through, you know that's the key. Red eyeballs. Take out the eyeballs. Oh, I'm like, run! Oh, that's right, she is running. She just runs like shit. Damn it. Get away! Come on, run! What the fuck? The run's not working. Seriously, the way they do the run in this game is just so stupid. I hope the hell they fix it before Resident Evil 3. Really? How did you know where I was? Just go and land on me. Ah! There you go, I get the feeling he's gonna come charging. Yep, there we go. Come and get it! Oh, what'd you do, hit the end of the train? You suck! You're supposed to bounce off the wall so that I can beat your ass. Tell me he died. Yes, sir! Finally! Fuck that piece of shit! Oh. No way. 
All right. There we go. Now he's dead. Ah! Man, you are so ugly. You know, I have to ask, who the hell comes up with these creatures? It's like, do they put the basic form into like some kind of morphing thing? Uh, you know, program where it's like, well, I'm going to start off with a human and give him a little bit of a virus and yeah, see how it mutates. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure scientists have something like that, you know? And so, I mean, I hope the hell these guys aren't seeing this crap in their dreams. It's okay. I'm here. And while we're at it, I hope the hell that the monster that we saw in the partial ending with Leon, I don't have to fight because that would royally suck. I have no bullets left. I have like 25 handgun bullets and that's not gonna do diddly. We finally done with Claire's second run playthrough. Oh, whatever it was, you ran it over. Yeah, go ahead. Breathe easy. I get the feeling it's not really over yet. So what's the first thing you want to do when we get out of here? I want to see where you live. Good. Cause I take a shower. Yeah. <laughs> really? Not bad. I wouldn't be touching yeah. anybody or anything. Yeah. You've been swimming around in poo. It's so good to see you. I told you we'd make it, didn't I? You did. What was this? Oh, wow. This, this is more this to the is... ending okay. with Leon. More than... Jesus. Oh, yeah. See? Crap. Who was that? I don't know. Put Just that train on high speed. Oh, yeah, of course. You're going to go check it out. There better be some kind of rocket launcher or some crap in there because if I have to fight this turret all over again... Oh, thank you. What is this? Oh, good, large gunpowder. What the fuck am I supposed to do with large gunpowder? I don't have anything else. So unless they're going to give me ammo for some of this we some of these weapons that I have in here. I'm I saved it cuz I am not going through that goddamn battle again. That blue chunks. What do you got here? Really? A knife? I just put the knives away. Oh good. What the hell am I going to do with that? So I get a shit ton of handgun bullets? Yeah, that's all they give me. You guys suck. I hope Wesker's, uh, whatever the hell you call it is the real deal. Because that's all I have. They didn't even give me bullets for the Gatlin. Nope. Nope. Sorry. I gave it the office. Got the, oh, it's him. What the fuck? Dude, you were dead. What do you even shoot at? I saw an eyeball. What the fuck? You were dead, you cheater. No, you don't. Don't lie. Oh, fuck. What do you shoot at? There's an eyeball up there, but... That's what I want to know. You exploded. You cheating fucking... How the hell are you supposed to hit eyeballs? Oh, right there. That eyeball. Is he corrupting the whole damn train? I'm gonna die. Did I die, or what the hell happened? Oh, wow. Damn it, Leon. Give me a hand, would you? Holy crap. What? Oh, yeah. That, okay, good. Fuck. 
Bye bye. I was expecting a QTE on this. Kill that piece of shit, Jesus Christ. Goodbye, fucker. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Give me, give me more than that. I'm gonna need legs. Torso. By all means, roast that piece of shit. He's like, oh crap. Even he knew he was done for. Uh oh. Really? Are you kidding me? I I shot the crap out of him and he's like gets even bigger enough to eat a train? It's like so, that blob movie. Like We're kinda loud. No. We just uh, Well we actually just met last night. <laughs> yeah. That would have been one hell of a first date though. Yeah, you, you wouldn't have been able to top it. No second date. Uh oh. Maybe it's not just the city. Get Cherry out of here. Come on. Watch that be Chris. Really, dude? It's a fucking 18 wheeler. <laughs> That's kind of funny. He was friendly. Well, at least we know he was normal. So, is it over? It better fucking be over, Jesus. But if it's not, we'll stop it. Whatever it takes. Yeah, you damn right we will. As long as we stick together, we'll be fine. Come on. Hey, you guys can adopt me. <laughs> we can get a puppy. We can get a puppy. That's such a, a parrot. That's a kid, all right. The, oh, I agree. Too messy. Next up on this boring Wednesday is a song to get your blood pumping. Oh my God! Seriously. I mean. You know, I didn't fight that bad, that last, not, not the thing it was eating a train, but, you know, the stage 4G, I didn't fight that thing until, I mean, I didn't fight that thing as many times as I fought stage 3G. I mean, if that makes any sense, I suppose because I was able to use the train as a buffer, and so, you know, and they give you this big beefy gun, which still wasn't enough to kill the damn thing. I guess you gotta make sure you use the bullets only on the eyeballs and not like any other part of them, which sucks when he holds his arm up. Oh, you can't hit my eye. Um, but yeah, seriously. So you know, the story, storyline, kind of cool, kind of eh. Um, the gameplay needs lots of work. I mean, the run button is just garbage. I, I can't. I, I'm sure that would have been a lot easier if the run button was anything else, but one of the three buttons, you know, the ones you you press on the analog control stick. Um, they is that just ruins it. And and seriously, you know, the uh, the lack of of options when it comes to fending off zombies, basic zombies. I mean, you know, you you get grabbed by a zombie. And only option you have is to either use a sub weapon or be lunch, which is totally bogus. I mean, you saw all the big beefy weapons they had, you know, and she just killed that big train eating thing by stabbing it in the eye with a pipe. You can't tell me that they couldn't have thrown out a leg or, or punched him in the face or something like that to try and get away. They're just like, oh, they got me. Ah, you know, I I think that was the shittiest part of the game. Uh, they, you know, with the, what I liked about Resident Evil 5 was the fact that, you know, with you with Chris and, and the girl, you could, you know, if they got too close, you could use your knife or you could throw out a leg, like I said, kick one of them in the face. And if they were ground crawling zombies, you could actually stomp on their heads to, you know, oh, well, you're not a real threat. <clears throat> okay. Goo everywhere. I mean, in this game, if there was a... 
Shit, there was a couple of times where the zombies had no arms, and still they were able to attack me. And I wasn't even able to use a sub-weapon, it's like, that's ridiculous. The thing has no appendages, how the hell could it possibly get me? And it's, you know, so, so just silly ass. Um, the aiming, the aiming isn't that great in this game either. Uh, it's just like real difficult to, you know, take anything out. The, you know, the head bobs and stuff like that when they're moving. It's a shit. Uh, my aim sucks in real life, and even in real life, it would have been easier to hit targets like that than than in this damn game. But I mean, it was still a fun playthrough. You know, I'm not sorry I did it. But I think, you know, the game needs some improvements. Hopefully, they'll solve these improvements, uh, you know, improve, make these improvements, or have made these improvements to Resident Evil 3, which is due out in April. I believe the beginning of April, and we'll definitely be doing a playthrough of that on here. So stay tuned for that. And, oh my god, that's a lot of credits. I'm sure there's more to say about this game, but for the life of me, I can't think of anything right now. Um, but those were the main parts. I mean, the story wasn't such a bad story. Uh, it's just what killed this game was the, the crappy controls. The crappy uh, gameplay itself. I like some of the puzzles. I mean, the idea of collecting the three medallions to get out of the police station because the police station had been converted into... Well, from a muse an art museum into a police station, that was kind of, that was a pretty cool idea. Um, what I didn't like, or not that I didn't like, but what I thought was kind of stupid is like when you were down in the sewer system, and you had to, you know, find all six of these uh, chess piece plugs, electrical plugs, just to get through that door. I like that's bullshit that would never happen nobody would go through that kind of trouble to close off that one door I mean Fort Knox wouldn't have stuff like that they uh, you know and, and when you got to get the king and the queen plugs out of that special area you got to switch them around through that gated area like no fucking way there was absolutely no reason to set that up like that except for gameplay and solving puzzles uh, you know it's like Let's let's find a way to make the game take longer without throwing more zombies. And actually, zo more zombies would have made more freaking sense than those silly ass puzzles. You know, the the two electrical pl uh, electronic parts that you had to put in in the uh, secret room. You know, the chief secret room to get into that little jail cell. Uh, that made more sense. You know, because they, the parts needed to be replaced, so you got to find them. But I mean, the plugs, there's no reason why that caged off area would even be there. Just so somebody couldn't steal any supplies out of there? Come on, that's bogus. And, you know, there wasn't anything behind that big iron wall that needed to be guarded off like that. What, some construction equipment? A freight container? What the hell was that? It, sound, it seemed like a loading dock more than anything else. Why, why put such a hefty, you know, big, thick, vault-like door on something like that? It was totally stupid. I, you know, the zombies were a pain in my ass in this game, but I actually think the game could have been improved with more zombies instead of some of these silly-ass puzzles. I mean, the, the mixture machine in the nest where you got to put the green goo into the vial to take out the plants, that was kind of, eh. Like, you weren't even mixing liquids. They were all the same color. You were just putting out the right measurement. 20, yeah. A C. Yeah, no surprise. Nine and a half hours. So, from what I hear, there's actually an S plus ranking on this game. You, If you can play through hardcore and beat the game in under, I think it was, three and a half hours? Or, no. 
we might two and a half hours with only saving three times for the entire game you can get s plus rank and from what I hear they give you and you can see it in the records too they give you like some weapons of unlimited usage yeah like a uh, like a handgun with unlimited bullets and that that minigun the Gatlin gun thing that the, you can get that too with unlimited bullets so I'm gonna try doing a hardcore run with either Claire or, or Leon I don't know which one yet and try and make it through the entire game in under two and a half hours that might be a live thing I'm gonna give it a give a try to but we'll see so stay tuned to find out more news about that but that's all the time I have for now ghouls and goblins so thanks for sticking around through this playthrough now if you have anything you'd like to comment below about my uh, ideas or opinions about the gameplay or the story or or the game itself or uh, anything you know Resident Evil 3 coming out if you're excited about that anything at all your nightmares Halloween you name it but don't forget to like subscribe share and click the little bell to be notified whenever I upload anything new so you don't miss anything thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next playthrough <laughs>